So impeachment over. Thank God. I mean that literally. <laughs> Thank you, God. Um, totally unnecessary. Uh, mistakes uh, on uh, all sides. No doubt about it. Uh, but the country suffers for it. And we're going to run it down because the aftermath of this is very important for what happens in 2022. Right? So this, this sets um, a table whereby uh, the Democratic Party and the Republican Party are both, uh, have both hurt themselves. Um, now, the Democrats don't seem to understand that, but they have. And I'll, I'm going to go through this um, so we have clarity on it. So let's run it down uh, methodically. I love that word. Uh, and by the way, uh, I'm going to pound George Will tonight, the columnist for the Washington Post. And I relish this because I never knew it. But uh, when I came out with my book, Killing Reagan, he attacked the book in a dishonest way. And ever since then, I've had my eye on him. So that's coming up. So first of all, uh, Donald Trump uh, does not have uh, access to Twitter or Facebook or anything like that anymore. Um, apparently, he doesn't put out videos, which I think he should, but he doesn't do that. So he did a full screen press release. And here's what he said. This was on February 13th, Saturday. This has been another phase of the greatest witch hunt in the history of our country. No president has ever gone through anything like it. it continues because our opponents cannot forget that almost 75 million people, the highest number ever for a sitting president, voted for us just a few short months ago. I also want to convey my gratitude to millions of decent, hard-working, law-abiding, God and country-loving citizens who have bravely supported these important principles in these very difficult and challenging times. Our historic, patriotic, and beautiful movement to make America great again has only just begun. Well, that's a good statement for uh, Donald Trump. Um, he got in all the words he had to get in. Um, but certainly this did not help him at all, this entire impeachment fiasco. All right, the next one is uh, President Biden, his statement, uh, quote, while uh, the final vote did not lend to a conviction, the substance of the charge is not in dispute. That's not true right there, Mr. Biden. Even those opposed to the conviction, like Senate Minority Leader McConnell, believe Donald Trump is guilty of a, quote, disgraceful dereliction of duty, unquote, and practically and morally responsible for provoking the violence unleashed on the Capitol. This is how we end this uncivil war and heal the very soul of our nation. That is a task ahead. It's a task we must undertake together as the United States of America, Joe Biden on Saturday also. Well, this hooey about, uh, you know, healing the soul and all that is disingenuous. All right. Because Mr. Biden knows he's not going to heal anything with his far left posture. That's impossible. What do you think? Conservative traditional people are going to support you and going to uh, back you with these kinds of far left progressive tenets that you're putting out there, Mr. President? Is that what you think? Because if that's what you think, you're not living in the real world. You are delusional. Okay. Uh, the next one is uh, Senate uh, Minority Leader McConnell, roll the tape. By the strict criminal standard, the president's speech probably was not incitement. However, however, in the context of impeachment, the Senate might have decided this was acceptable shorthand for the reckless actions that preceded the riot. Nah, that's a bunch of hooey. Um, acceptable shorthand is not uh, a legal term. Um, you either incite or you don't. Uh, there was not an insightful uh, phrase uttered. Um, and McConnell, why is he doing this? OK, that's a question, because he doesn't want a remnants of the Trump Republican Party going forward. He never liked Donald Trump. Donald Trump didn't defer to him, as most other presidents had. Um, Biden certainly will defer to McConnell. Um, Trump, he didn't do it. So it was personal. But uh, going forward, McConnell wants a 
uh, swampy Republican Party, if I can use that word, swampy. He doesn't want mavericks. He doesn't want populists. Uh, you know, he's a guy that's been around forever and an establishment Washington guy. That's who he is. So that's what that was all about, sending a message that, hey, we don't need this again. Now, the seven uh, Republican senators who uh, voted to convict, Bill Cassidy, Louisiana, Pat Toomey, Pennsylvania, Richard Byrd, North Carolina, Ben Sass, Nebraska, Collins, Maine, Murkowski, Alaska, Mitt Romney, Utah. Uh, Cassidy has been censured. That censure is um, when the state's party, the Republican Party, all right, basically says uh, you did uh, something wrong. I don't think Cassidy did anything wrong. He voted his conscience. Fine. Um, you don't like it, Republican Party? Primary him. People of Louisiana don't want him, they'll, they'll vote him out. Okay, so, you know, Cassidy got sanctioned. Uh, Toomey not running again. Um, the Republican Party in Pennsylvania said that uh, this was not a good vote, but what are they going to do to Toomey? He's not running again. Okay, uh, Burr, Burr's in trouble now. Burr's in trouble. Uh, the rumor is that... Uh, Eric Trump's wife is going to run against him, uh, primary him for the Senate next time around. I don't, I don't know. But <laughs> Burr is not, I, that hurt him. Sass is a little bit more powerful in Nebraska. Um, there will be a censure vote there on Sass. Sass hates Trump. I don't really know why he does, but he does. Collins in Maine, Maine is a state that is not ideological in that you know, they don't care. So Colin's not going to. Murkowski, uh, she's going to be primary, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Um, in Alaska, very, very red state. And they overwhelmingly voted for Donald Trump. And Murkowski is not a Republican. So if a strong Republican emerges in Alaska, he or she could beat Murkowski, in my opinion. Romney, very powerful in Utah. Um, nothing going to happen to him there. But Mitt Romney would like to run. For president again and that's never going to happen never in a million years so if that was his plan not going to happen well joe biden is going to be president and we may be in for some economic uncertainty that's why now more than ever i recommend you diversify with gold and silver the only company i recommend is american hartford gold so please call them right now and tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you, and they will give you up to $1,500 of free silver on your first order. Now, since I've been recommending American Hartford Gold, gold itself up over 40%, silver up over 60%. So don't wait. Call 866-501-5201. That's 866-501-5201. Or text BILL to 65532. Bill O'Reilly here. Thank you for watching this video and make sure you subscribe to the First TV YouTube page. Just hit the big red subscribe button below and you'll get clips and highlights of my program, The No Spin News, every single day. We'll see you soon.